Hey everybody, Kaikenzor here with another tutorial. This time, let's make a vortex. So, the aim of this is to pretty much make a spinning vortex or portal. You might know it as, or a wormhole, black hole, whichever you want to choose. What we're going to be doing is just making a simple vortex, one that spins and pretty much sucks in some particles, some glowing particles. So in this tutorial, we're gonna, in this video, we're going to be looking at the design and also the rotation as well as using the 3D rotation also. In the next video, we're going to look at the effects as well as adding particles. So let's begin. So first things first, it's a portal. I'm just going to make a simple one using ellipse tool. I'm just going to drag this out and you can either choose to design it using your ellipse tool and some line tools or you can just start with an ellipse tool and probably just use your brush tool to design. I just use the brush tool this time around. Nothing too major. Let's try something a little So the design is up to you. I'll just make mine until it's just simple. This is what mine will look like. And maybe I could use another one. Another circle. Something smaller, thinner. I'll just zoom in here. Let me just draw myself another thin line. Maybe I could erase some parts too. You know, in case that's how you want yours to be. Whoops. We can just erase up a few parts. Right, so That's what my portal looks like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extend it along the timeline because right now it's only in one frame. Press F5 and I also want some colors on the inside. So I'll add a new color. I made this a radial gradient with, let's see now, I want black in the center that's for sure. Make this radial. Okay, so put the black on this side. We want some, probably some dark purple. And maybe some blue on the outside. And who knows, 
Maybe we can throw in a little white somewhere. Let's give me a little bit. Uh, let's take my paint bucket tool, fill this in. Maybe this isn't so great with the white, so I'll just put that white over. And we have something like this. So, this is my portal. So the only thing left now is to do the rotation. So, I add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline for my vortex. And another at the end. And on the last one, I'm going to use my rotate tool up here. I'm just come down over here and rotate this like three times. But on the last loop, I don't want it to be exactly back here because in case you want to see a nice loop, you don't want it to seem like it stops here, then it starts over and you might actually see a little hitch. So we pull it back a bit like so. So in case of a loop, it will look something like this. So with that done, next is to do the other rotation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a peg to this drawing. So I hit my add peg button and from this view in the vortex peg, I'm actually going to go inside it, the layer properties, and right click, choose layer properties, and over here you'll see enable 3D. All I want to do is kind of slant it a bit. <coughs> so I'm going to hit that so that when I do the rotation, it will be like this. And you can always use your translate tool and pull this back. So if you're satisfied with this, then that's good. You can also adjust the rotation if you so desire. So we have something like this now. So if you play it out, it should look something like this. It's not totally perfect in the rotation, but you kind of get the idea. So that's how you do the rotation and the 3D rotation. So in the next video, we're going to add the effects and then do the particles. So thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.